Assalamualaikum very good morning to all students today we continue again with another chapter under computer architecture and uh, computer architecture and organization so thank you very much for staying with me up until so far and hopefully you will continue to be with me until end of the semester so for those who already subscribe to my channel thank you very much uh, for those who haven't, I appreciate if you could subscribe and also put some likes on my videos. So, without further ado, let's start our class. Okay, today we are going to look at our new chapter, which is chapter 3 under Digital System and Digital Circuit. So basically in this chapter what we're going to discuss is uh, about how to perform operation on Boolean algebra and how to design simple circuits, digital circuits using gates. And here we are going to understand the relationship of digital logic with computer operation, for example in gates versus the memory. So we have around seven topics involved here which is under logic gates, Boolean algebra, combinational circuits, flip-flop, sequential circuits, memory components, uh, integrated circuits. Okay. Okay, so what exactly when we talk about digital, what does it mean by digital? So our computers are digital. So what is it? Is it exactly digital? So imply that the computer deals with digital information. It deals with the information that is represented basically by binary digit. So why is it related between binary and digital? Okay, so binary usually represent a high signal in electrical signal. Okay, so when electronic signal representing high, which is uh, there is increase in voltage uh, or low, which means it's zero in voltage, so it become either one or zero. So if you can see here, so one, okay, is determined by when the signal is high and zero is when the, the signal is low. So in your computer, so the electronic signals will change from high to low depending on the electronics inside it, which is mostly based on integrated circuit. So integrated circuit, usually they are the building blocks of computers. So they design for specialized functions, like for example, within the CPU, within the system bus, and within the memory. So the base component of this IC is what we call, the, which is one of the primary components, what we call a transistor. Okay, so like for example, in case of Motorola MPC 7400 power PC modules, we have 6.5 million transistors in less than half an inch square of the CPU. Okay, so this transistor size, okay, based on time, it become more and more smaller. Okay, during my, uh, during my time, it was up until 25 nanometer, and here I think we can get up until 14 nanometer these days. So the smaller you get, the more transistor you can fit in into a half square inch, and the more processing power you have. Okay, so when the more processing power you have, you can get a better computer for you to do processing. So transistors, this is the basics of digital circuits. So they are the basic for Boolean algebra, okay? And Boolean algebra is the basis for computer logic design. So transistors is a way for you to implement the Boolean algebra, okay? Because transistor, they act like a switch, okay? So it act like a switch. They can change between zero or one. So if it's a zero, okay, it's, uh, it's off. And if it's one, it's on. Okay, so when when you use your transistor, okay, inside the Boolean algebra, okay, when the transistors turn on, means that certain portion of the binary will become one. If the transistor turn off, certain portion within a binary set will become zero. Okay, so when you combine a lot of transistor, okay, you can get what we call logic gates. Okay, so when you implement transistor, okay, like for example, in this case, okay, is A, you have this transistor here, you have a voltage coming in and a voltage that goes out. 
Okay, and then you have this emitter here. Okay, so this one is where you have a transistor inverter. Okay, transistor inverter means that once that come in is z one, okay, out will be zero. Or when one coming in is zero, out will be one. Okay, so and then here you have what we call a NAND gate. Okay, NAND gate. So NAND gate is a not end gate. So if it's one and zero, it will become if it's one and zero, okay, for the two output, okay, N gate will become uh, what we call uh, one and zero will become zero. And since we have N and N gate, so N means it's an inverter. So instead of the answer is zero, it become one. So you see, this is combination of N and uh, inverter. Okay, so this one is a N OR gate, what we call as NOR gate. Okay. So this one you have two inputs, okay, coming out, okay. Uh, so you convert from the inverter, uh, uh, coming out here up until here is up uh, into OR gate, and because we have this inverter, so it become a NOR gate. So this electronics basically is the building blocks of your logic gates inside your computer. So you have a lot of digital binary involved in your computer. Okay, so this binary will be processed by this gate. Okay, so the more binary you have, the more gates you need to process certain binary. So there are types of basic logic blocks, which is combination of these logic gates. Okay, so for example, we have combinational logic blocks. Okay, so which is logic blocks whose output logic value depends only on the input logic value. Okay, which is the N and OR. And then we have a sequential logic block, which is logic block whose output logic value depends on the input value and the state of the block. Okay, like for example, the state right now of the block is 1. Okay, when the input is 1, it can be 0. If the state of the block is 0, input is 1, it will be output is 1. So it depends on the state of the block. Combinational one is based on all input, it goes out another input. Uh, another output. Okay, sequential, they have a state and also the input to perform the output. Okay, so the functions of the gates can be described through what we call a truth table, a Boolean functions, and Karnoff map. Three types of uh, description of the gates. Okay, so this chapter, will I will discuss all of this with you guys. So firstly, okay, let's take a look at logic gates uh, and Boolean algebra under the truth table. Okay, so the truth table is easy. Basically, you have inputs and outputs. Okay, you have binary for input, you have binary for output. Okay, so in this case, okay, for the first, you have two inputs, X and Y. And from this, you want to insert into the logic gates and you want this result. Okay, based on this result, okay, it is x times y. Why? Because 0 times 0 is 0, 0 times 1 is 0, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1. So it means that, okay, output x, y, okay, okay, x, y is equal, oh, I'm sorry. So this one, okay. So the answer here is x, y, x, y, okay? N is the true only if both inputs are true, okay? Uh, so this represents the output x, okay? The output of the logic gate is equal to x plus uh, x times y, okay? So or, on the other hand, is an x plus y, Okay, so in this case, you see that 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 1. Okay, we don't have 2 here yet. Okay, we have maximum is 1, right? So high and high will become high. So all is a true if either inputs are true. Okay, so this means that if either input is 1, okay, the answer will be 1. Okay, and then we have this one in what we call not. Okay, this is what we call x bar. Okay, so x bar is when you have input is 0 and output is 1. 1 is an opposite uh, of the input, which is 0. 
okay so we have a lot more like for example we have nor gate nor gate is basically an or gate that has been inserted into a knot so it means that from no or output 0 1 1 1 okay it opposite by using not it become 1 0 0 0 okay and then is also the opposite of n okay and x or okay this one is a little bit different okay in case you guys remember in our uh, number system chapter you notice that one plus one becomes zero and you got one carry into a next binary you remember that okay this gate is purposely for using that so if you see that here zero plus one is one one plus zero is one one plus one is zero and in usually in case of uh, our what we call it uh, adder okay zero we will add another one okay on the next binary okay this is where we x all comes in so here in this case okay based on the truth table we create what we call a boolean expression okay in this case okay you have here okay an input of x y z okay x y z okay here is y bar y y bar z and x plus y bar z equal f okay so y bar times z you got this result okay if you want to see x plus y bar times z you will get this result for x plus y bar times z so depend on what kind of output you want okay okay you can create an equation okay so here in this case we have this expression f equal x plus y bar times z okay so you have this input okay so how do you know this input basically so this input is basically you know by three bit increment it start with zero 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 one and continue with zero one zero which is this is zero one two three four five six seven okay you see that this is zero convert to zero, uh, binary one convert to binary two convert to binary three convert to binary up until seven okay so you see that all this is the converted from zero to seven into binary and then from here you create an uh, a new input sub input which is like in this case y bar is one 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 okay zero zero one one zero zero and then here you case uh, this is based on what you have y here okay and then you have y bar times z y bar times z is when you have one times with zero become zero one times with one become one zero times with uh, zero become zero zero times with one become zero okay continuously up until the end and addition with x of this we got this f okay so it's an equation that you can calculate easily based on the inputs okay so there's a lot of exercise later on that we will do regarding this so when we talk about truth table okay so why do we need to know about truth table so it shows how a logic circuit output responds to various combination of the input okay so using logic one for true and logic zero for false okay all permutation of the inputs are listed on the left and the output of the circuit listed on the right so you see that here in this case is a input on the right is the output and the desired output can be achieved by a combination of logic gates. You want to combine a lot of logic gates for you to have a certain output that you need. Okay, so a truth table for two inputs, okay, is shown here, but it can be extended to any number of input. The input columns are usually constructed in the order of binary counting with a number of bits equal to the number of the inputs. Okay, so the input is basically okay in this case 0 1 2 3 okay you have 0 0 is 0 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 2 1 1 is 3 so depending on the number of the input okay like for example in case of two input it start from 0 until 3 okay three inputs is start until from 0 until 7 four inputs start from 0 until 15 okay 
five input okay start from zero until 31 okay so it depends on uh, how many inputs that you have so the number of input you have is 2 power of n okay which is the number of input variable okay so in logic gates and algebra you have certain rules you can follow okay in order to simplify the equation based on what you are getting okay in this case like for example okay so you have rules like for example 1 times x equal x 0 plus x equal x okay you have x times x equal x okay here is 1 times uh, 1 plus x is equal 1 x plus x is equal x x times x bar equal 0 x plus x bar equal 1 so this all this equation okay you can memorize them and help in terms of you to simplify your logic circuit based on the requirement given to you okay you might have a requirement like for example f equal x plus blah 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 blah, blah which is very long you can use this rule to simplify the logic circuit to be a little bit short okay so in this case okay you can see here like for example okay x bar yz plus x bar y bar z plus xz okay so in this case okay we can combine okay z and bar z here becomes like uh, almost like algebra okay bar x y okay you got uh, times z plus bar z okay plus xz okay so in this case z plus bar z you can convert it into one and here you got a simplified version of xy plus xz okay so there are a lot of rules you can follow in case of this one also you can see that it is being simplified here and also here also it's been this it has been simplified from this long up until only one output okay uh, so this is the benefit of your uh, of your simplification for logic circuit so in this case like for example in this case if you draw the logic gates you need to draw n gates okay bar x into a not gate and then you times in a y times z you have uh, times with y times with z plus which is an o gate okay which is very long and here is going to be simplified the length of your logic gate is simplified Okay, so that's all for uh, for part one of this chapter. So I think there will be about up until four parts for this chapter, including some exercise I've included. Okay, so I'll see you guys uh, in my next video. Hopefully, this will be benefiting to you all. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. See you guys later. Bye bye.